Today we're remembering a hurricane that would forever change Louisiana and the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Katrina hit on this day in 2005 with devastating winds and storm surge. Then breaches in the federal levee system would leave 80% of New Orleans underwater. Not only are we marking the 19th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Ida struck three years ago today. Katrina was one of the country's costliest disasters and now nearly two decades on, we're still healing. Today we've learned local officials are pushing for a new state holiday. Eleanor Tabone was at that anniversary event in New Orleans and she begins our team coverage tonight. I'm a survivor, a resident of the Lower Ninth Ward. Um, as I walked up, you saw the pictures of two people on the back of my shirt who died that day. My three-year-old granddaughter, my 73-year-old mother. Our house floated away with us on top of the roof. Here in New Orleans, too many families share the same heartache as Robert Green. It was a day of extreme loss. Me losing my grandfather, me losing my family dynamic. August 29th, 2005, Hurricane Katrina unleashed catastrophic destruction on New Orleans, flooding the city and leaving a trail of unimaginable loss and despair in its wake. My cousin Bryce, whose house was on Tennessee, was rescued in a tree. For 43 days, much of the Big Easy was underwater. You decided to stay here. Why? Uh, I didn't have no other place to go, really. And, um... Didn't think it would be this bad. Residents flocked to the Superdome, seeking refuge. Others trapped in their homes prayed they'd be found. Finding a way with memories of floating bodies still on our minds. 19 years on, no matter the weather, New Orleans is still here. The fact that the matter is, New Orleans are just strong, unbroken people. 1,392 known people died. Many bodies were never identified. The economic damage Hurricane Katrina caused is about $125 billion. The travesty of this storm is pushing city and state leaders to take action to ensure the heartache the storm caused is never forgotten. But I'm actively pursuing that we recognize uh, this day as a state holiday. The horrors witnessed during Hurricane Katrina, though seared into memory with pain, New Orleans say future generations need to understand where they came from and understand the profound human cost those before them endured. 40 years, 20 years for those who didn't experience Katrina, they understand what their parents and their grandparents went through to sustain their lineage in these communities. The wounds left by the storm may never fully heal, but the indomitable spirit of the city's people will live on forever because this is New Orleans and that's what New Orleanians do. Alan Tabone, WWL, Louisiana. Representative Alonzo Knox says he will introduce a bill to create a new state holiday for Katrina on August 29th for next year's legislative session.